Sleeping Dogs, what an amazing game, and one that I'd heard nothing but good things about for years. Having never seen any gameplay, I came across the Definitive Edition for PlayStation 4 in my local game shop, and I thought, you know what, I'll take the risk. It was the best decision I could have made, as Sleeping Dogs is now one of my all-time favourite games. Unfortunately, despite the game being absolutely phenomenal, sales were not deemed good enough by Square Enix, and due to some other reasons too, a sequel was started but ultimately canned along with the studio. Despite that, it doesn't change the fact that Sleeping Dogs is a great game, and one that I had to get the Platinum Trophy in. So what do we need in order to earn the Platinum Trophy? Well if you're following a guide, your first step is to simply complete the game. Second step, mop up all the side missions and events. And then, buy all the vehicles and clothing, find all the lockboxes and health shrines, earn 30 silver and gold stat awards, and then some miscellaneous trophies. As I have a short attention span, I like to tick a lot of things off as I play the game, completing side missions alongside the story, and basically tackling anything I come across on the map. So join me, Bomb Chop, as I tackle the Sleeping Dogs Platinum Trophy. So I boot up the game on my PS5 and see this error message, which has me slightly concerned, especially when as soon as I click start a new game, it crashes. Oh shit. So I boot the game back up again and pray that it's just a one-off. And for the most part, it was. The game has us controlling Detective Way, who is working undercover and attending some form of drug bust, when we see this dude get lamb chopped, and the police arrive on scene to arrest everybody. We use our parkour skills to run away, but eventually get captured and thrown into a cell with a dude we grew up with, Jackie May. This was all part of the plan, so that we can now use our connection with Jackie to try and work our way in with the triads. We get released from our prison cell with a little help from Pendrew, who is the chief officer in charge of our undercover operation, and we make our way to meet Winston, who will now be our new boss, once we've done a few odd jobs for him. Our first job is to collect protection money from all the local vendors for allowing them to trade on our turf and keeping them safe from rival gangs. Once we've received all payments needed, we make a quick pit stop in order to purchase some new clothes, and this gives us our first trophy. Fashion statement. Our next task is to go and get money from a guy named Ming, who has decided he wants to work for Dog Eyes instead. Dog Eyes being the boss of a rival gang, and also somebody Wei knows as a bit of a prick from his childhood. We end up having to chase Ming until we're cornered by him and his goons. During this fight, we use the environment to our advantage, to grab our fifth environmental kill, for the trophy, Environmentalist. We beat up Ming some more, and end up getting arrested again, and once again, Pendrew to the rescue. And we're also introduced to a female detective, who we'll be doing some bits for later on. We're released for the second time, and as you can see on screen, the game started bugging out with the camera going weird. For completing the night market chase, we ended up getting the trophy, in with the gang. I closed the game down and reopened it, and thankfully that was the last time we saw any of that weird zooming in and out of the camera. At this point, the world of sleeping dogs opened up and we began experiencing everything the game had to offer. We find a few health shrines and a few lock boxes while exploring, disrupted a drug bust or two, and then we meet Amanda. She's looking for a kung fu class. So we take her there and we learn a new combat move and also learn about the missing jade statues, something else we will need to collect as the game goes on. We also exchange numbers with Amanda and if you call her, you can go on a date with her, which ends up with Wei showing her the way, if you know what I mean. This will also make all health shrines appear on the minimap, but I was stupid and didn't do this date until much later on. We then came across a chicken fight club and we place a bet winning bet on one of the chickens, which nets us the trophy, Tourist. From here, I then took on another drug bust, 
During the drug bust, I got my first gold stat award. Basically, stat awards are for doing specific tasks a set number of times. In this case, for getting my 100th kill by hand, earned me the gold, and also the trophy, strike gold. Then, for completing the drug bust, I managed to level my face level up to two, which gave me the trophy, minor face. I then decided it was time to complete my first case file. Remember that female detective I mentioned earlier? Well, we're now doing some detective work on her behalf. On this occasion, it's all about getting close enough to a drug dealer and seeing if we can get concrete evidence of him making a deal. We do, but we also get evidence of murder, which completes the case and also gets us the trophy, take a bite out of crime. I continued clearing all and anything on the map as and when I came to it, and it was no surprise that I had cleared 10% of all missions, cases, favours, events, jobs and races, and with this popped the trophy, Rookie. I then attempted a side mission which required me to take out 30 enemies with an unbreakable meat cleaver but the enemies have poison knives which constantly chip away at our health. I failed multiple times and didn't actually complete this mission until right near the end of the Platinum journey. However, I did get my fifth silver stat award during one of the attempts for the trophy, Slight Silver. I then took on a couple of races, and I can honestly say that the bike races are absolutely shocking. The slightest touch sends you absolutely flying, and there are so many opponents within the race, so it's kind of inevitable. During one of the races, however, as part of the course, I entered the last of the four areas of the game to earn the trophy, a man around town. And we'll blame that fuck up on the trophy, Bob. We go back to some story missions now, and we're instructed by Winston to fetch a guy as he wants to question him. We go into the warehouse where he's hiding out, and this is the first real time we get some gun gameplay. I try to utilise the slow motion vaulting the game offers, and picking off as many headshots for quick kills as I can. We eventually get to the guy, but he manages to flee in a cop car, and we give chase on a police bike. We then have to do an action hijack in order to stop him without hurting him. When we successfully pull off the action hijack, we get the trophy, Stuntman. We then take this guy back to Winston for questioning, and due to our performance at the warehouse, we are no longer suspected of being anything other than an actual triad by the rest of the crew. As this mission ends, we get another trophy, That'll show them. Shortly after this, there was a nearby drug bust where I managed to get my fifth gold stat award, which gave me the trophy Gold Rush. Then I helped Peggy, Winston's soon to be bride, get some last minute bits ready for their big day. Once that mission was complete, I then took on a cop job event, and once I'd done that, so was 25% of all the events, which gave me the trophy, Officer. We then attend Winston and Peggy's wedding, and all hell breaks loose with the rival gang, the 18K, turning this beautiful day into an absolute massacre. We have to fight our way through until we come to find both Winston and Peggy have been shot. Peggy is unresponsive, but Winston tells us to take charge of the gang and get revenge. We then come across Uncle Poe, who is the chairman of the Red Pole, which is basically runs affairs of all the smaller triad gangs, and we have to get him to the hospital before he bleeds out. It was at this time I started to earn a fair few trophies in quick succession. While driving across map, I managed to stay accident free for two minutes at a high speed for the trophy safe driver. 
then for using all gadgets in the game after using the phone tracing device for the first time, I got the trophy Gadget Man. Then after completing a bike race, I managed to get my face level up to level 5 for the trophy Gaining Face. Before then purchasing and eating my 10th different food item for the trophy Foodie. With those few miscellaneous trophies bagged, we jumped back into the story missions where Winston's mom asks us to find out who was responsible for the massacre at the wedding and to take them back to the restaurant as she wants to see them face to face. And well, yeah, she gets a little bit cleaver happy to say the least. After this, I managed to grab another four miscellaneous trophies. Firstly, for shooting out a cop's tyre, I got the trophy Sharpshooter. For hijacking five of this specific van and returning them to the garage, we got the trophy Kleptomaniac. I then got my 15th Silver Stat Award for the trophy Substantial Silver, which I missed the recording of due to living in this madhouse. And then I beat up a few civilians to grab an umbrella and gave them a beat down with that weapon, which happened to be my 10th melee weapon for the trophy whatever's handy. The next story mission sees us going after dog eyes, as the last guy who Winston's mom turned into a stir fry name dropped him as the instigator for the wedding massacre. We find dog eyes, kill a shed ton of his gang members and 18k members, and then take him back to Mrs. Chu, where she makes him eat the last guy. <laughs> I then tackled one of the brawl clubs and levelled my face level up to 10 for the trophy Great Face. Before being betrayed by Pendrew who told us he was planning to arrest Jackie even though he hadn't done much wrong up until this point and was our closest ally within the whole triad scene. As Jackie gets arrested the mission ends and we get the trophy A Big Betrayal. For the next several hours of the game, I didn't progress the main story once. All I did was clear everything on the map that I possibly could, and by this point, there was a fair bit left. I did a cop job, which put me up to 50% of all events, races, jobs, etc. Complete for the trophy, Detective. I then completed the last drug bust on the map, which also was the last event I had to clear, which gave me the trophy, Event Driven. I placed a 50k winning bet on another cockfight for the trophy Infallible. I completed the fourth and final martial arts brawl to net the trophy Martial Law. And then I managed to get my cop level up to level 10 by using security footage in order to have a drug dealer arrested for the trophy Super Cop. The next story mission begins with us getting a call, as the hospital is under attack by the 18k, as they're trying to kill Uncle Poe, who is still in a coma. So we head on over and have ourselves a lovely time, causing absolute mayhem on the ward. We eventually repel the 18k's attack, and we are instructed to go to bed in order to progress the story further, but we use this time to start buying some new clothes. All items will be needed for a later trophy, but while buying some new sets, we earn our 15th Gold Stat Award for the trophy, Gold Touch. After having a good night's sleep, the next part of the story is all about getting closer to the Red Pole, and we are tasked with making sure some American producer has a Hong Kong welcome. So we take him to the nearest K-Bar and get some girls to throw themselves over him. Meanwhile, we take on some karaoke classics. I can't play the actual audio because of copyright, but for completing every song at 90% completion or higher, we get the trophy, 
karaoke superstar. Since we're in the process of showing off, I thought we'd knock it up a gear, from karaoke to street racing, and I began completing the last few races that were available. After completing the last race so that all of them were complete, we got the trophy, Way of the Races. Knowing that I was getting close-ish to the end of the story, I continued clearing more shit from the map. I started a mission that I believe was part of the DLC, which included driving a car with controllable turrets. Using the turrets happened to be my 10th ranged weapon I used, and this netted me the trophy, Gun Nut. From here, I finished the last case foil mission, which included using a Russian illegal immigrant as bait, in order to rescue her and her other friend in the process, which got me the trophy, case closed. We then completed all favours scattered around the map, with the last one being a case of chasing after a thief, who ends up breaking their leg, so we give them a little stomp to make him feel better, which gives us the trophy, Mr. Nice Guy. And then we completed the fifth and final bounty for a guy called Roland, where we are pretty much getting people to pay up the money they owe him. The last one takes a turn for the worst, but when completed, we get the trophy, Bounty Hunter. So back to the story for the last time now, and we do some detective work, planting bugs etc, around certain areas connected with the Red Pole, in exchange for Jackie to be released from prison. We attend Uncle Poe's funeral as he's unexpectedly died while in hospital, and then the police arrive to arrest one of the Red Pole guys and basically leave us to fend for ourselves with the 18k, Pendrew showing how much of a piece of shit he is. We then have to rush back to Winston's restaurant as the 18k have started attacking anything and anyone linked to the Red Poles and all of their triads. This mission was pretty awesome to be fair and shooting the grenade launcher from the roof was pretty awesome as well. We then notice Jackie is nowhere to be seen and get a call from him to meet him. We end up finding him hanging gutted like a pig. Wei gets knocked out and tortured until he inevitably gets free and fights his way through hundreds of 18k to safety. Now it's time to go on the offensive. So we head to where Big Small Lee is hiding out. This guy is the main dude of the 18k and pulled all the strings for the attacks and Jackie's murder. We take out all of his goons and end up chasing him on foot in a boat and back on land again. Once we catch a hold of him, we beat the holy hell out of him before throwing him into an ice chipper to finish the job. Finish him. The police arrive and we are left footage which shows Pendrew had actually killed Uncle Poe by injecting something into his drip in the hospital. We then get the pleasure of arresting Pendrew. We get the final story mission trophy. Big smiles all around. Now it was time to start grinding for all the tedious trophies and to grab a couple that I'd missed near the start of the game. This is going to be slightly quick fire because most of it was just collecting bits etc. So I found and hacked the last remaining security camera on the map for the trophy, Super Hacker. I replayed one of the first missions just so I could grab a fish and use it as a weapon. For doing this I got the trophy, a slap in the face. I then found the last lockbox that I was missing in North Point for the trophy North Point Scavenger. Then I replayed a fair few missions in order to get my triad level up to level 10 for the trophy Ultimate Fighter. Found the last couple of lockboxes in the areas of Aberdeen and Kennedy for the trophy West End Scavenger. Grabbed the last healing shrine on the map, which got me the trophy, Spiritual Healing. Then, I got the last lockbox from Central, for the trophy, Central Scavenger. 
followed that up with completing the last event which don't show up on the map but thankfully I found this one quite easy for the trophy event planner and then I brought all vehicles and clothing in the game for the trophies auto enthusiast and fashion victim With three trophies left, I realised I'd missed something on the map, the Zodiac Tournament. I believe this was DLC, but it still counts and classes towards the Platinum Trophy. The Zodiac Tournament is set in an old Kung Fu st style movie, where it's a case of last man standing in the battle pits. While doing this, I grabbed my 30th Silver Stat Award for the trophy Solid Silver. Then finished the tournament, which meant I had officially 100%ed the game for the trophy Chief Inspector. And then I replayed one of the missions just so I could grab my 30th Gold Stat Award for the trophy Pure Gold. And with that also the Platinum Trophy. Just launched it last month? Ah, yeah.